On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four Japanese base sets, three XYs packs, two Neo Genesis, and one AX pack. Yeah, I know. I'm probably really bad at singing. But anyways, <laughs> I thought it would be interesting to do something different as far as the countdown to Christmas goes. Now, obviously, this is going to be a TCG then and now episode because we are taking packs from our Japanese base set box and opening them up for a Christmas episode. And because we have packs from then and now, I thought it would be appropriate to make this the official next episode of the TCG then and now. So, because I don't know if I'm going to do any between now and then, the number of this episode will be in the title. <laughs> so, we're going to begin with a Japanese base set. So, so far, I have pulled a Venusaur, Zapdos, and Mewtwo, and I would really like to... Oh, oh gosh, did I? No, I didn't. That really freaked me out. Um, I really want to pull a Blastoise and a Charizard. So, let me make sure I'm doing... Yeah, I'm doing this right. We will definitely have to see what type of pulls we get. And obviously, this is such a big nostalgic rush. And then with our new set, which will be out by the time that you guys see this video, is the XY Evolution, which reprints a lot of these. So, <laughs> what's not to like about... Oh my goodness, another Zapdos. Look at that glorious gloss. Man, I don't, I mean, there are 60 packs. So obviously, since I've gotten two Zapdoses and a, I think two or three Hitmonchans, those are probably going to be the more common of the holographics. And I don't know if I've pulled any other doubles yet or not, but... That's a great way to start this episode out. A holographic, gradable card, I might add. So, thanks to Ultra Pro for our sleeves and our awesome mat. I'm hoping that I get another mat soon to kind of help decorate the background for these card openings. But just look at that. We got... <laughs> we have some great pulls already starting out, so... Let's see what else we can pull. Yeah, and like I haven't seen very many Venusaurs, Blastoises, or Char- Like, I haven't even seen one Charizard yet, so. I have no idea how difficult it is to pull those, but I would assume that those are probably the harder ones to pull, considering that they are the more popular evolutions of the starters. Voltarb! <laughs> Wow, I forgot. Gust of Wind, man. Yasni. Paragon. And it looks like our rare is a... I think this is like a super energy removal. So our first trainer. Let's see if we can adjust the camera just a little bit. And get us some background going. So that is our second pack in. Totally awesome. <laughs> that takes up quite a bit of space. So I don't even know how many base set booster packs we have opened up from this box set. But I do know that this box contains 60 packs. And there's still quite a bit of packs in there. So there will still be plenty of TCG then and now episodes to come. And there's obviously going to be some more um, uh, merchandise and other packs of, as well. So, you know, in the comments below, let us know if you would like to see any other TCG series make it into... I mean, like, I don't even care if you want me to open up some Disney cards. Whoa, I forgot how cool and ferocious that are. Can I, oh, hey, look at that. I do believe this is my first... My first Clefairy pull, but I do... Actually, no, wait a minute. This might be a second pull, but I don't think it was a second from this particular booster pack. I mean, booster box. 
my brother pulled one, but I had ordered some Japanese base sets before I bought the box. Because when I first started my channel, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. I knew I wanted to open up one booster box from each, like, each series. So, from base set, which will now be up to the Pokemon Sun and Moon base set. Which will be a very long and expensive journey. <laughs> so, any help and I'd be happy. <laughs> Oh, man, I forgot what Star Wars character that actually came from. I think it was Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> the supposed Darth. Um, or what do they call them? The, the city. Oh, gosh. I can't even remember. This is horrible. Oh, well. Two hollow pulls so far. And they're still... Let's see. Um... Seven packs to go. So, this is exciting. Definitely a great way to get the Christmas season started. And you're probably thinking, is it even Christmas? Not yet, but it's we're getting there. <laughs> My work schedule causes me to have to pre-record some things. But I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. It feels like Christmas to me. And I can't wait for Christmas anyways. There's no telling what what kind of pulls we're going to get as we go along. So another trainer card. I don't know what this is. I think it's like de-evolution spray or something. I don't know. But now we can move it on to our XY packs, which are going to be Ancient Origins. And these are my last three loose packs and I'm getting kind of low on loose packs so I'm probably gonna have to do some light purchasing here in a couple months or something wait a minute where's the code okay actually I will give you guys this code so you guys let us know in the comments below if you get anything good from this been a while since I opened Ancient Origins, I believe, but I have opened almost a booster box just using the packs in there for loose packs of different things, so that was pretty fun. Ooh, I kind of really like that artist. She just looks like it's dancing around. Wee, new, new. And then our rare is a Reggie Steel. We could make like a little mini pyramid here, but I think I'm going to run out of room. <laughs> I think now we can move this and we can move these forward and we can do it. We can make a pyramid of Pokemon cards. La -da -da -da. So this one might be a little bit longer because I'm opening so many packs and I'm trying to preserve them. And obviously I'm not going to be able to edit all of these videos considering the fact that we are doing... Um, a 25 countdown to Christmas. Oh. Well, here you go. Here's a second my code. Let me know in the comments below if you get anything good. Maybe somebody will get a good pull. Whether it be us or anything else. Regardless if we get anything in this or not. I don't really care. Because we've pulled two Japanese base set hollows. One being a beautiful Zapdos. So who could say anything about that? Okay, cool. So an ancient trait Vespaquin. And honestly, if we don't pull anything in here. That probably means that in the future. There will be some packs that I have reserved. That do have pulls in them. Oh my goodness, I can't get this open. If you guys don't know, I um, use these, these packs for my own custom packs. So if you guys are interested, the custom packs can contain anything from base set all the way to the current sets. And you get one rare, which it, you have a chance of it being a hollow or an ultra rare. And, and, like, so many uncommons, and, oh, oh my, oh my gosh, we pulled the gold primal crowd on EX, I don't know what to do, oh my gosh, 
Hey, Mew! Mew, we pulled the primal crown on the eggs! Look! It's gold! Do you approve? Do you approve? Okay, that's not the reaction I was looking for. But oh my gosh, we pulled it. And this looks amazing. Like, I have pulled the primal, the regular primal Groudon and Kyogre cards. But I'm pretty sure I have not pulled one with a gold border. And I'm surprised because it's not a secret rare. But it feels like it should be. Just look at that gold like it looks like it's just a party up in here like we could just we could go buy like 10 booster boxes with this one card that's how much gold is on it i would i would do that man oh my goodness oh wow this has really got a lot of factory like see all those white marks for you guys that don't know those white marks can dock you whenever you're trying to get them graded Wow, I was not expecting even a pull at this point because, wow, I didn't even see it. Like, normally when I do this, I'll see those cards, but man, I don't even know what to do with that now. Holy whoa. Okay, but that's not going to end the party, I'm pretty sure, because we still have first edition Neo Genesis packs as well. We have two of these amazing packs and I can't wait to see what these hold I don't even know if I can handle it I might just become super speechless and the video goes super silent I don't even remember the pack trick for this so I'm gonna have to find the pack trick for the next pack now these are kind of hard to get out but just look at that glorious first edition and we know oh my goodness I love that Murkrow. I don't even think I've pulled one of these yet. Oh, that's the rare. Okay, so I gotta be really careful about this. So it looks like it's the second card to the back. Wow, that is crazy. I wonder I hadn't pulled it yet. Oh, look at that milk tank. Wee, wee, dee, wee, woo, woo. Body slam. Fluff me with a oh my goodness get off the cards mama spanking you and you don't like it do you my goodness I swear like I can't even open packs without the cats getting into them I love them to death but oh my gosh you crazy hooligans get off no no move get down you must think, you guys are going to think I'm like abusive or something. It's not the case. They just don't listen very well. No. Now you were being good over there in your chair until you started that. And I was even trying to evolve, involve you. And you didn't want that. You just sat there. Alright, let's try the trick. It's one. One to the back. And then this. So let's see what happens. Oh, wow. What in the world? Oh, wait. No, that's not a rare. I was about to say that was a star, but it's not. So it's a miracle berry. Lots of colors going there. Big color explosion. Oh, this fits the perfect Halloween month coming up. Wait a minute. Why am I saying that? It's Christmas. <laughs> Well, at the time, I'm... Oh, my... Get down! Gosh! I may not even be able to, like, totally upload this, but this is crazy. I love this gloom and the artwork and everything. Sorry for that loud outburst. I don't think they understand the concept of not getting on the cards. A snubble. Oh, I love that Meryl. It's just bouncing. Whee! And our rare is a darkness energy. The main reason why I don't want them up here right now is I have two gradable cards. And I feel like, yeah, she has stepped all over it. Oh, my. I don't think it's damaged anything. 
but goodness, I mean, I love them to death, but <laughs> it seems like when I do anything on the camera anymore, that she, especially her, she has to be like right in the middle of it. All right, EX Power Keepers. I don't mind my cats helping, but I just wish they would listen and not get on the stuff. So this is the first EX pack that I have opened in like five months so this is totally excited i don't think i've opened an ex power keepers pack yet so if you want to read that you'll unleash great forces that every trainer will want to harness for their own inter stadiums where the only most elite trainers have dared to go now i think for ex packs it's one two and one two so we will just have to see here. I really think that Machop is adorable. Like that looks so cute. Oh, <gasps> get out of the train track, you crazy dude. I'm just swimming, just keep swimming. What would you do? Oh, oh keep swimming. Oh, oh. oh, look at that. That is a very interesting Glalie. Whoa, and I bet you reverse energies are really hard. That is a rare, too. A reverse rare energy. And our our official rare is a Sableye. <laughs> That's still pretty cool to pull a rare reverse energy. I didn't even know that energies could be rare, but we'll leave that on top. There's our pulls, guys. Two holographic gradable cards, one non gradable card, but still so much gold that we could probably buy a ton more. Really cool Markro first edition, and then a reverse hollow rare. So I'm gonna go tend to my little putty cat before she gets mad at me. I didn't mean to. She just jumps in the middle of stuff like a crazy woman. I'll see y'all later.